This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. In April, a company based in St. Petersburg, Russia called Escon began running a tempting promotional offer. The flagship product is called Compass 3D, a CAD product. So Escon calls its offer the Compass Trade-In. According to its website, Ascon will exchange any license of customers' outdated 2D or 3D CAD system to modern, powerful and professional solution Compass 3D version 10, the latest version. I must admit, I wasn't familiar with this product, so I downloaded the trial version of Compass 3D to take a look at it. I was surprised to find that it's fairly comprehensive in what it can do. Like you would expect, there is 2D sketch function driven by parametric dimension values and intelligent snapping to nearby points or midpoints. In the 3D mode, you build your model through extrusion, punching holes, rounding edges, mirroring, and other parametric approaches. The software also gives you the option to automate some patterning jobs. I find, however, that creating production drawings from 3D is not as easy as I wish it could be. Perhaps I expect too much, but I wish the software could figure out the best fitting options for the page when I just want to place a few standard views. And I also wish creating detailed views or enlarged view could be as easy as selecting a region with a rectangle or a circle and dragging the desired view out without requiring too many steps and clicks. Still, the software seems to come with a rich set of tools to handle everything from 2D sketches, 3D parts to assemblies. Here are some of the sample files and some of the screenshots from the online galleries. North Edge, a CAD reseller based in the US, offers Compass 3D version 10 for roughly $3,400. That's just about a grand under SolidWorks. You can download and try the demo version yourself. The other big news items is Spatial Corp's release of ACES Modeler and Interop Suite version 20. Here is Spatial's demonstration video showing how it can take advantage of the multi-threatened workflow for better performance. Spatial is part of Deso Systems, so it's no surprise that its ACES modeling kernel turns out to be the driving force behind Deso's products like SOLIDWORKS and GATIA. But ACES is also the engine behind the latest direct modeling product Space Claim, a product that has been getting a lot of attention because it represents a departure from the traditional parametric CAD modeling. Since the latest release, the Spatial's 3D Interop suite has added support for numerous new file formats including Unicode, which would make the development of 3D CAD packages with local language support a lot easier and Siemens NX6 Pro E, Wildfire 4.0, SolidWorks 2009, and Inventor 2009, among others. ACES was formerly known as strictly a modeling kernel, but Spatial has lately begun offering value-added components like the Rapid Application Development Framework 3D Mesh Module and EDA 3D Analysis Tools for electronic components and embedded systems design. These are additional products Spatial offers in addition to its core product, the ACES modeling kernel. The new version of Spatial's modeling kernel, along with Spatial's 3D Interop suite, is available now. To find out more, visit Spatial's homepage at www.spatial.com. By the way, a desktop engineering magazine reader an 8th grader from Pennsylvania called Doug Curley recently won the high school division robotic championship at a local engineering club. According to the official rules of the contest, the contestant teams have to design autonomous or self-control robots that will square off against their opponent's robots in a sumo ring. Doug said he named his robot Eric. So why Eric? I asked. Apparently the inspiration came from Monty Python, the British comedy series that features an actor named Eric Idle. 
Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering, leaving you with excerpts from a video clip of the West Branch Engineering Club's Robotic Championship. Enjoy!